13 a.m. April 12, 2011. Um, a lot going on. So I thought I'd make a video here in the middle of the night. Um, as soon as the Japanese thing happened, it reminds me of a lot, lot of other catastrophes that it's understated. There's a dictum on Wall Street that if there's some bad news, there's usually more bad news. And it's just, it's a massive tragedy what happened in Japan. And uh, the Japanese government has just upgraded it, or the international body that I guess determines a number on uh, nuclear disasters is upgraded to a Category 7, which is an ultimate disaster, just like Chernobyl. And those that are familiar with Chernobyl, it spewed radiation, you know, all over Europe and kind of all over the world, all over the world. And unfortunately, that's what's happening with Japan. Um, for various reasons, I've been studying nuclear fallout for about 25 years. I, I bought a book 20, 23 years ago by Cresson Kearney called Nuclear War Survival Skills. And I've read that and just actually studied fallout patterns all over the world mostly from nuclear war and warheads and all that kind of stuff. Uh, didn't anticipate a tsunami of 9.0 hitting Japan, and of course, a lot of people didn't anticipate that one. But the bottom line is, you know, right, I'm a finance guy. Uh, at the same time, I have this seems to be inordinate interest in the last days and prophecy and what's really going on in the world. But just, I think, you know, we're, we live in such an era... Uh, 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 and, epoch of specialization that people like they're a finance guy or they're a doctor or they're a brain surgeon or they're a chemist and then everybody specializes and they don't have this broad holistic view of life but at this point in time i would advise you know people are going to watch this video get up to skill get up to date on on what's really going on with the nuclear fallout we cannot become nuclear physicists you know go to school and become instant experts but we can understand i guess there's three different types of radioactive problems right now the iodine which a half-life is like eight hours and then there's like cesium and another one that starts with a c uh, with a half-life of i think the other one's maybe two years months 30 years and so you know there's already people that won't eat sushi um and so you it, the most important thing right now is discernment discerning what's true what's what's not true you know i wouldn't be freaking out as if i was in california but i would be watching it i'd be looking at the data coming out of berkeley I would not necessarily trust governments exactly with all the information. See, Japan's now, it's the ultimate disaster, category 7 or the rating scale of 7. Get up to date, figure it become, you can firewire, and this is what I do when, in any, well, any area of knowledge right now. I'm doing that with kind of like the problems I've had with my insides, and I'm feeling much better. And so you can focus on something, whether you want to, quit smoking or quit drinking or be healthier or bench press more or whatever. If you focus, you can attain it and do it. And I would advise everybody that's going to watch this video. I've been doing it for 25 years for my own reasons. But to understand nuclear fallout, understand what a half-life is, and understand um, you know, how something like, let's say something that has a half-life of 30 years is eaten by a crustacean in, off the coast of Japan, and a fish eats it, and then a bigger fish eats it, and pretty soon it's finally in, let's say, a halibut in Alaska. Well, if half-life's 30 years, you know, that can build up in the tissues of those fish and then um, cause problems for somebody that eats a halibut from Alaska two, three, four, 30, 45 years from now. Get up to date on nuclear fallout. I would keep abreast, of course. I mean, pretty much if you're logical, this is the top story in the world, okay? So what do you have to stop watching TV or whatever? Get up to date on what's going on in Japan. Look at different alternative media. Obviously, I mean, some of the insanity that's come out, like with, with Ann Coulter and that kind of stuff, like it's good for you. It's just absolute insanity. So you have to discern, and many times your source of information is not going to be one of the major media outlets, of course. So I would watch a bunch of different types of media, get to speed as soon as possible, and be very aware and become up to date and inform yourself on nuclear radiation, what a half-life means, and if it's going to affect you. I probably will tone down, already I hear that sushi places in California are kind of, people aren't going as much, but I'll probably, you know, not enjoy sushi for the future. And then bottom line, as far as food storage goes, you know, um, canned tuna now is going to be fine. Can of tuna, can tuna a year from now? I don't know. So if you want tuna in your food storage, get it now. It's probably fine. 
put it in. But uh, I want to be adding tuna to my food storage and uh, fish products you know, six months a year down the road. Anyway, get up to speed. I really advise that. And uh, unfortunately, there'll probably be other nuclear events. Just the probability with the proliferation of nukes all over the place. And its uh, knowledge of nuclear fallout, nuclear radiation, half lives will be extremely important for you and your loved ones in the coming months.